Good morning, YouTube. It's early morning here in the great state of Texas, and it is December, which means it's Christmas time. And me and the wife this year for 2022 put together this cool Charlie Brown Christmas puzzle. Took us a couple of days to finish uh, between work and everything, and decided, you know what would be a cool memento if we just, you know, if I took it, framed it up, and put epoxy on it. And judging by the title, it is not a good idea to put epoxy on cardboard. And I just learned that. So what we're going to show you today is what not to do when uh, attempting to epoxy a puzzle. So pick this uh, piece of junk board up from Lowe's. You can see my great skills here in trying to cut it open uh, because my jigsaw was out of battery juice. So I had to come back with a handsaw a couple of times, come back and forth, shave it down a little bit. Here I am just using the wrong tools for this entire project. So. I initially, I had planned on just doing like a simple frame up. I've done this before with some other projects. Take some 15 minute epoxy, frame it up, get to the size that you want it, uh, and then just glue everything down, put some clamps on it. Fairly easy breezy, drink a little Red Bull in the meantime. Nothing too difficult. And this part, you know, admittingly wasn't difficult once I cut the board down to the size that I wanted it to. Uh, you know, that dried in about 30 minutes. Then I came back, attempted to use spray on Gorilla Glue and then decided, well, let's just use regular Gorilla Glue. And that was going to keep the puzzle from floating because obviously when you're doing these frame ups, uh, it's going to create a little bit of a, uh, it's going to create a little bit of a situation where it floats. And here you can see me trying to drag the puzzle on there. That was a mistake. So a lot of mistakes on this project uh, already. So broke the puzzle a couple of times, had to go back re-get everything back to where it was and now we're just framing up everything where I wanted it to be and I had ruined the puzzle initially when I slid it onto the board so you can see here the frame up initially was good but I didn't I wasn't able to move or slide the puzzle further down so I just had to go with what I had so this is what the frame up looked like let the glue dry everything is attached so okay you know a little bit of problems not a big deal there's the epoxy in the background warming up in the sun because you got to warm up the epoxy before you use it remember that and it's you know december in texas which is not super cold but it's not super warm either so that's super important and yes i understand my hands were a little bit too close to the saw blade but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and eventually it's going to get my fingers so here we are taking some east coast resin pouring that on the puzzle piece and immediately i knew that i had made a mistake here i am taking just a regular foam brush trying to spread it around and obviously it's all oblong here i am trying to take the bubbles out of it which was another different issue that i had i literally for like two hours took the torch and just came and sprayed out all those bubbles i assume there were large air pockets underneath the actual puzzle itself and you can see here we missed some particular spots it's a little uneven it's a lot uneven but once I realized what the epoxy did and soaked into the puzzle pieces, making these you know dark splotches here, I just realized you know it's not salvageable. So just a lot of problems overall. And I knew this because I've worked with epoxy for like four years now, and I should have known that it was going to seep into the resin and just cause this kind of you know distortion to it. If you pull away or zoom in at certain angles, you can kind of tell it looks a little bit better, but just does not go well so trying to salvage it took my little uh, uh wood burning kit and just gonna write christmas on it 2022 so in spite of this being a failure we show failure on this channel this is a project this is a video on what not to do so don't do this don't pour epoxy directly onto your cardboard puzzle pieces because it will not turn out how you think it will but we're gonna keep this we'll keep this in the house it's just a memento we'll take it out every Christmas from now on hang it somewhere and here I am just polishing up the sides the you know wood burn on the bottom looks pretty cool Christmas 2022 so uh, you know Christmas project for 2022 not the worst the puzzle was probably the highlight but hey be careful if you're gonna use epoxy and uh, pour it onto a puzzle it's not going to look good. And I almost knew that this was going to happen. I had an inkling, but I guess I should have gone with my gut on this one. But uh, next week we're going to do another Christmas project, so hopefully that goes a little bit better. But I uh, hope everybody's having a good holiday, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.